Meanwhile, this morning, we are learning more about this deadly bus crash that happened near a service plaza on the New Jersey Turnpike. Information now coming from the survivors. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey joining us live from Center City with a firsthand account from one of the passengers who was on board that bus. Wakisha, good morning. What did he have to say? Yeah, good morning, Janelle. Well, you know what? This had to be a very scary situation for a lot of those passengers. However, that mega bus, uh, one of them just arrived here right now, and it hasn't stopped people from riding because this is a very common mode of transportation, especially from New York City to Philadelphia. However, after speaking with quite a few people, a lot of them are still feeling a little bit uneasy. Now, here are some aerial images of the double decker mega bus that's flipped over on its side. Now, according to the police, the bus driver lost control of the bus and ultimately hit a Ford pickup truck. Now, the two people died in, in the crash, a 59-year-old woman from New York City and a 66-year-old woman from New Jersey. Three people were seriously hurt, including the bus driver. And a passenger recalls what happened just minutes before the crash. Kind of felt and heard a, like a pretty loud noise. Uh, and then the bus started vibrating and, and rattling, and then it started to veer to the right across a couple lanes of traffic for like five seconds and then smashed into a guardrail and, and flipped over. Went over to the bus driver, uh, saw if he was okay. Um, he was not really super conscious. Um, but when I like got him up and woke him up, he was stuck under something. His leg was definitely broken. And that passenger you just heard from said that he frequently rides the mega bus just like so many other people. But he was just amazed. After this crash, so many good Samaritans jumped in to help out. Reporting from Center City, Wakisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Wakisha.